Hey guys, it's your girl Nicole Doss and I am going to show you today in the pink room three things that you need to keep in mind as you grow and flex with your brand. Hey guys, it's your girl Nicole Doss and we are in the pink room. This is the place where we have conversations around building your business, building your brand, the ups, the highs, the lows. And so today we're going to talk about the need for flexing with your brand. So I'm going to share with you today three quick tips on how you flex your brand. Okay guys, so tip number one. You need to first understand that there will be highs and lows with your brand. That's right. So whenever you're dealing with highs, what I want you to think about is those are the times for you to celebrate, times for you to be able to say, wow, this is a great time to celebrate milestones, to acknowledge accomplishments. But when we are experiencing lows, I want you to take your notebook out. I want you to grab your paper and pen, and I want you to learn from those lessons. Now, here's the deal. You have to go through those low periods. And the reason why you have to go through those low periods is because you need to be able to build this muscle that is absolutely necessary for you to be an entrepreneur. Dealing with clients leaving, well, take out your pencil and paper and figure out why are your clients leaving you. Don't take a victim mentality. And a victim mentality basically is saying, oh, well, my clients are leaving because they can't afford my pro my products or, um, you know, they they just don't understand the vision or, or whatever the case may be. Like, listen, if your clients are leaving you, it's a time for you to learn why they're leaving. If there's a uh, spike in sales and you're really excited, great, and then the next quarter you realize there's a crazy drop in sales, take out your paper and pen, or yeah, your paper and pen, and I want you to figure out why are people no longer purchasing your products? Maybe it's time for you to start with something new, Maybe it's time for you to start getting innovative, or maybe it's just as simple as, you know what, no one's really interested anymore, so you need to retire it. Or maybe you're not marketing and no one even knows anymore that you even have these products. So whatever the case may be, whenever you experience those lows with your brand, it's not an opportunity for you to have a pity party. We don't do pity parties here in the pink room, but nonetheless, we take the time to understand and to learn why we are experiencing those lows. All right, tip number two. Tip number two basically says that you need to really focus on your purpose. And the reason being is because when we know that there's gonna be highs and lows with our brands and with our businesses, the reality is, is that if you aren't taking the time to really understand if your business is aligned to your purpose, that means that when you hit those low points with your brand, you know what you're gonna do? you're gonna jump ship. That's right, you are going to uh, abandon the, the actual business because it's not any tied to anything of substance. It's just something you thought was cool to do, it's something you thought was a great way for you to make money, and you're not going to continue to be successful. So I really want you to think about that. That's why I want you to think about that. I want you to think about how you are going to tie your purpose into your brand. And the best way to do this is to think about your why. So if you don't know a way for you to figure out your why, or if you need a little pep talk about figuring out your why, I have the perfect TED talk for you, and that is with Simon Sinek, and he talks about why people, or how people buy, or buy from businesses about the why, right? So it's a much catchier phrase than that. I think he says people buy not what you do, but why you do it. There you go. So um, that's tip number two. Moving on to tip number three. Tip number three is very simple, and I'm just gonna tell it to you like this. Stop taking ish so personal. That's right, this is business, ladies, and that means that if you do not have strong emotional quotient, then I need you to go ahead and buy a couple of books on EQ or EI, which is either your emotional quotient or your emotional intelligence, and I want you to get up out of those feelings, ladies, and it's as simple as this. Um, this is business. People make decisions about your brand or your company based on multiple things other than you. If you have people who no longer buy your product, maybe it's outside of, of their price bracket. Maybe they're going through hard financial times. If you realize that you know people wanna move up to another um, offering from a competitor, maybe it's because your products or your services stop somewhere and can no longer take that person where they want to be. So don't 
don't take it personal because if you take it personal, you will not be able to learn from those lessons. And if you remember, that was tip number one. So if you're not able to learn from those lessons and all you did was just mope and complain and think that everyone else is the problem and not you, what ends up happening is that you miss out. You miss out on your blessings, you miss out on your opportunity, and you miss out on that moment necessary for growth. I hope these help you in flexing with your band, your brand. Don't you worry. Your brand is destined for greatness, but there's just a few things you have to do along the way. I can't wait to see you, Lady Shine. Bye. All right, guys, I hope you found these tips very helpful. If you want to get more information and more tips from your girl, Nicole Doss, and the Prestige Society, please feel free to subscribe and to like. Thank you. Bye.